Hey guys, it's Emily and Fitz <laughs> from the Sweetest Thing vlog and I am bringing a makeup tutorial to you today. It is a matte makeup tutorial, a full coverage <laughs> matte makeup tutorial. And um, I'll be linking everything I'm using on my vlog. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, jumping in, I'm starting off with my Smashbox primer that I always use, and I'm using a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki to apply my foundation. I do spray it with MAC Fix Plus first. I usually use Estee Lauder Double Wear, but today I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. I love it because it is full coverage and a little goes a long way, which is nice. I'm using a MAC paint pot to prime my eyes and then I'm going to be using an E25 brush by Sigma to put MAC Shroom on my lid. This is just a good way to brighten your eyelid. Uh, if you see my camera shake, it's because Fitz and John are standing behind the camera playing. I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown's Camel in the crease of my eye and I'm using a Sigma fluffy brush. I will link the exact one below. I just work it through the crease back and forth in windshield wiper motion. I like a little bit of shimmer on my eyelids, so I'm spraying my brush with MAC Fix Plus and I'm dipping it into a MAC pigment called Tan, and that's what I'm applying to my lids now. In case you're wondering, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to John. Being on Accutane has made the under eye area on my face much darker, so I use two different products under my eyes, and it's a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a Smashbox BB Cream for under the eyes, and I blend it out with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and it is damp. I'm using a Chanel Longwear Powder to set the foundation on my face. This is good for oily skin. Next up is my version of baking. I use the Laura Mercier powder to set the under eye area and to kind of carve out where I'm going to contour my cheekbones. This is really good for making your skin matte. After I apply this powder, I do let it set. I'm using my Anastasia contour kit to sculpt out cheekbones and to slim down the nose. I used the same shade to contour my nose, which my nose got a little bit dark and I didn't do a very good job blending it out and I'm noticing that now that I'm watching this on the computer. Sorry about that. Now I'm using a clean stippling brush to wipe off that excess powder under my eyes. And then this is an hourglass bronzer that I swear by. I love it so much. I use it around my hairline and on my neck just to get everything blended in and make myself look like I have a tan. And I'm using Stila's Liquid Liner. It's a stay all day liner and it's one I've been using for a couple years. I love it. I use it on the top and I use a matte coal at the bottom. And then this is an Anastasia pomade. It's a brow pomade in soft brown. The threading lady did take off half my eyebrow the other day. So I'm using that to give myself um, more arch and more definition. I'm using a blush by Bobbi Brown, which I'll link below, and then I'm using the primer end of Double Extend Mascara by L'Oreal. If you do two coats of this and let it dry in between, it makes your lashes so long. And then I'm setting my face with MAC Fix Plus, and I love this now that I'm on Accutane. And then I'm using Bobbi Brown's new mascara, which is so good. I totally recommend this. I do two coats of it and let it dry in between, and usually I'll do my highlight while I'm letting one coat dry. And this is highlight by Becca Cosmetics. It's Champagne Pop. And then I clean it all up with a beauty blender, and that is it. You should do Whip and Nene. <laughs> <laughs> 